place to warm my fingers And it isn't your body lying next to me You said you could give me what I wanted But just still, but just still want me to stay I am recording an album which is very exciting. Um, I looked like I was in pain just then. Exciting pain. Excited pain. Pain of excitement. Um, so I'm recording an album, which is exciting because I've never actually done an album ever. And I know that so many people ask me, do you have an album? Do you have an album? Can I buy an album? Do you have an album? And now I might actually mm -hmm. Say yes. Say yes. <laughs> yes, and pay <laughs> me a lot yeah. of money, and please pay don't download it. Give me your money. Um, yeah, so I'm recording an album. I'm heading to Japan on Friday. My name's Tim Koenig, and I'm a bass player and producer. And I've been producing Nari's debut record, Lamentations. We did a bit of pre production in the house that we were living in in Lilyfield and then we went down to my parents beach house in Javis Bay where we did a week of ad uh, advanced pre-production and uh, but we tried to keep some stuff that we recorded and we did we recorded a bunch of stuff and we used that on the record we then went into a uh, free energy device and recorded uh, some more drums and vocals in there straight after and then we did the rest of the record in my studio. I didn't think I was going to make an electronic record. Uh, with, I knew that when we were working with Aaron we were going to make some electronic sounds on the record but I didn't expect it to come out the way it did. Uh, yeah, I'm very proud of it. It's quite a body of work. There's a lot of work that's gone into it. It's been about a year of work all up. We referenced uh, D'Angelo's Voodoo a few times, and I would like to think that I have made a record of that calibre, which has, uh, which will stand the test of time and will stand up against whatever uh, is else is out there because there's so much music on the record and so much. Uh, talent and soul that it, it will stand up against anything because a lot of music out there at the moment doesn't have that. Aaron Chulai is an incredible musician and really brought some amazing ideas to the table. Um, same with Ross Ferraro who played drums and Evan Manel and Neil Anderson and Jack Britton who played a lot of the keyboards on the record. Also, Moses McRae, who produced Rabbit Hole, uh, really brought a nice flavour. So, we're here in Jarvis Bay, Huskisson, to be exact. Um, down here recording my album, which is very exciting. And um, Tim's parents have been kind enough to lend us their house to record in. Um, and so, I've come down here with um, my band, Ross Ferraro, who I've been playing with for the last nearly six years now. He's probably the longest serving band member. <laughs> Everybody else has left. No, it's not true. Uh, you can edit that out. Um, this is... I think that he should introduce himself, hey? Okay. Jurgen? Yeah, I reckon I should introduce myself. Yeah. I'm Ross. Hi, camera. <laughs> This is Ross. Ross plays drums in my band and <clears throat> we've been playing together for six, six years. Six years. Wow. Freaking six freaking years. Time flies when you're having fun, Nari. <sighs> yeah, that's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so he's, um, he's, we're here making the album. How's it been for you so far? It's been very, very uh, interesting. I think uh, the first time I've done an album like this, <coughs> it's a cool, cool way of doing things. I'm enjoying it. 
Yeah. And I heard that you were quite drunk when you came home last night. I mean, to the room. Oh, did you? Did you hear that? Mm. I didn't know where you would have got that idea, but that's, that's cool. <laughs> it's yeah. true, though. Okay. <laughs> Can you ask Chris to check this floor, Tom? He's on his way down. All right, cool. I think that the boys have actually been really good in terms of like, because we've got so much alcohol in the house, like Tim and I made sure that we bought, how many bottles of wine, we bought about six bottles of Shiraz. I don't know how Honey, many they brought, finished last one night. Left. There's <laughs> one left and it's only been two days actually. But, but so the, that ma <laughs> the majority of them were, were drunk last night though. Okay, like we we're did. five people. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, yeah, no, it's, you know, it's, I think it's, you know, I'm not saying that I'm an alcoholic or anything, but you know. It's, it helps the creative process. It helps process. the creative process, you know. So, thumbs up. Mm -hmm. No, I've been surprised actually about how disciplined we've all been. I know. In terms of all of that, and just like even stuff like actually waking up <laughs> early, and because we've been working hard and finishing quite well, late. Well, Aaron's and usually exhausting. the one that wakes up quite early. Like Mate, I'm last to bed. He's first to he's rise, last to bed and first to rise. I don't actually understand that concept. Tell him no. Tell what? him how hard I work. <laughs> Fine. He works so freaking <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> Any other great project, you know, like it's an absolute pleasure to be involved in this one because, again, like I said before, like it's good people, it's very talented musicians, like very serious musicians as well. It's the other thing, like, you know, we joke around and stuff like that, but everyone really, not just for this project, but like, you know, for the last however many years, we've all been working every day to get better quite seriously. Like, you know, it's that kind of group of people. We take what we do quite seriously. And, um, and we're working hard and the results are showing, you know, you can kind of start to see it now. So to be a part of a kind of collective of people who work hard, who are talented, who both have, you know, the same vision and sight for, um, for some music that we all feel is going to be very special, very different. And, um, and we, you know, man, I know people are going to like this record. It's, um, it's an absolute pleasure and honour to be doing, to be a part of it, you know, I'd rather be nowhere else at the moment. Except maybe inside with a heater. <laughs> <laughs> but still in Jarvis Bay. Still making the record, but just with a heater. Maybe. Yeah, and I'd, you know, I'd like to touch on the fact, um, the fact that both me and Aaron are Papua New Guinean as well. Like, you know, I've, I say that not because I want to say, hey guys, look at us, Papua New Guineans, mm. man. Yeah, you know, have you ever seen a Papua New Guinean? No, I'm not saying that because of that, but, you know, <clears throat> I think that. This is a really special um, collaboration because <clears throat> I just think that it's important um, for um, the music in PNG, especially, you know, for what we're actually creating together. 
Um, for me personally, I'd like that to be able to inspire, you know, the younger generation to feel like it's okay to actually experiment with other styles of music and um, not just be caught in that whole, you know, what they're used to doing. But um, I think that it's a it's a it's a very important thing as well. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you like, once the record's released. And um, see you. You'll actually be looking at us because you would have bought the album. And somewhere in the in the album, our pictures will be there. And you'll be staring at it and watch, and then sort of watching this video going, man, there's a good looking bunch of people. And very talented. <laughs> <laughs> I think laugh. Aaron's really talking about himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I am. Uh, just, um, man, email me. Just, just send me an email. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk to people. He's lonely. I want friends, yeah, man. He doesn't have a lot of friends in Japan. Really. No, mate. It's just me and my NPC, man. <laughs> talk to him. Bye. Talk, talk back. <laughs>